What is going on YouTube? So, as per usual, I stopped uploading again for another entire college semester, and now that that's done, I'm back. <laughs> now, but this video is probably gonna be the same as my last update video, or my last comeback video. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll put the link to that down below. Just kidding, I'll probably forget to do that. But this video is gonna be similar to that in which I just talk about everything that's happened to me in my life while I was away from YouTube. So first things first, this first thing actually didn't happen this year. It happened late last year, late 2020, like during my Christmas break last year. But uh, I've never talked about this on my channel just yet. We got a puppy. Yeah, after years and years of asking for a puppy, ever since I was like a toddler basically, my parents finally decided, hey, let's get a dog now that the kids have literally no time to do anything other than school related crap. But yeah, we got a puppy. And just like any other puppy, you know, the first couple weeks of having her, they weren't the best because of all the puppy crying and house training, and accidents and potty training and all that. But she's eight months old now and she's great. We take her virtually everywhere we go, whether that's to the mall or to vacation or at places to eat. As long as they allow dogs, she's there. And yeah, that's my life now. But I love her so much, obviously, and everyone in the family loves her, and everyone that meets her loves her as well. And just like any other dog owner, my phone is now filled with clips and video clips and videos, clips and pictures of her. She even has her own Instagram, which you guys can follow, shameless plug. And yeah, you guys will see her in future videos for sure. But that's all I have to say for now. On to the next one. Jeez, I am sweating profusely, but what's new? Anyway, earlier this year on the 17th of January, I turned 19. That's it. Next, shortly after I turned 19, another semester of college started, which is never fun, especially since everything is still online up to this point. It was the second semester of my junior year in college, and I'm just glad it's finally over. It was honestly just another stressful and anxiety-inducing semester, and aside from classes and stuff, which were already bad enough, we were also made to attend a bunch of webinars and online events, which I was involved in the organizing of a couple of them and even hosted one of them. Please allow me to introduce myself. My my name is Renzi J. Chan the second, and I'm gonna be your host for this afternoon's event. And I was even asked to film a vlog from one of the events, which was really weird. I'm gonna show you guys that school event vlog in a different video. Yeah, after five long months of pain, I finally finished my junior year of college, now moving on to senior year, and it feels just as nerve-wracking, honestly, if not more. Now moving on, I broke two bones. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys probably knew that already, because I did post like a series of Instagram stories about that. It happened around the first half of the semester, so obviously I had to get surgery to get my hand fixed. So I couldn't write for like the majority of the semester, which was tough. Because I literally had four pins lodged in my bones and a splint to keep my hand and wrist immobilized. So needless to say, during the semester, working out was completely out of the question for me. And during days when I didn't have classes, I was in and out of the hospital and the clinic for like x-rays and checkups and stuff. And I even had to get admitted in the hospital for a couple days for my surgery and I'll probably talk about my injury and more so my recovery more in depth in a different video like right now I'm still in my road to recovery I don't know how long this is gonna take but I'm still relearning how to write with decent penmanship like I can write but it looks jacked up and I'm relearning how to type at a decent speed I used to be pretty good at typing but now it's not as good and relearning how to draw as well as some of you guys know i used to be pretty decent at drawing but that's not the case anymore more into that in a separate video now another thing that happened to me that i didn't necessarily plan for is the fact that i gained 10 kg this past semester or over 10 kg somewhere around there now as much as i want to blame my injury for my weight gain i can't it's entirely my fault i did not control my eating this past semester. And that's my thing though, unfortunately. Like when I'm stressed, I go to food. Therapy is expensive, but Doritos, not that expensive. But yeah, all I can say is I am frustrated at myself for letting myself go 
this much. But then again, I can't be too mad at myself because that was the only way I knew how to cope with stress, at least at the time. Like I didn't have YouTube or even working out because of my hand as a coping mechanism for stress. But yeah, obviously since the beginning of summer, I have been working on getting myself back to where I was, which is why I have lost a few already. But that being said, last year's summer, like COVID-19 quarantine summer, 2020 summer, I was probably in the best shape of my life. Like I actually looked good in my personal opinion and not only that, I felt good. Like I wasn't only healthy physically, but also mentally because for myself and for a lot of people, those two go hand in hand. Now, fast forward to present day, I am so far from where I used to be. And that's both physical and mental health. Like my blood pressure's been insane, my metabolism's all jacked up, my BMI is I don't even know anymore. So yeah, there's a lot for me to think about and a lot for me to work towards. And this is not gonna be a fast process by any means. There is no shortcut to getting healthy, losing weight, getting in shape, whatever your goal is. It all just takes determination, hard work, and trusting the process. I've been there before, so I hope you guys come along for the ride. Now moving on. On from that i'd like to take this time to thank you guys who reached out to me in the comments in the dms on twitter or in, on instagram or even tweeted at me you know telling me that you miss my videos and you want me to stay safe and hope i upload again soon all those types of comments and messages really mean a lot to me like you guys have no idea so thank you so much it's just nice and you know comforting and motivating knowing that there are still people out there looking out for me even though i take these massive breaks from youtube because of college which trust me i hate more than anyone but yeah new video next week so be on the lookout for that all my links and info as always will be down below so check that out if you guys want to and that's been it i'm out guys peace Whoa!